What's up, you wonderful people of YouTube? Today, I'm gonna to talk about getting involved in open source, right? So a lot of times when we think about getting involved with open source is finding other projects to contribute to. And sometimes as a beginner developer, that could be really intimidating. And that's what prevented me from doing that in the first place. I literally did not start getting involved in open source projects until I started working for an open source company. And the struggle is real because a lot of times when you go to these projects, you may not know enough about the project or know where to start. So you can't find issues that you could actually realistically help with. And that is normal. And it doesn't mean that you should give up. And so another way or another thing you can do instead of trying to find open source projects that you could contribute to. If you do, that's awesome. You should definitely try to do that. But as a beginner developer, you could create your own project, make it open source, build it publicly and find friends to help to contribute to this. And so one simple example that I've done, I've done it for the company that I work for. I work together with Daniel and Trisha to create our Next.js and Strapi starter guide. And so let me quickly share that project with you. So here's the Strapi and Next 13 JS project using all the new features, or at least trying to of Next JS. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with the work that we did. You could check it out on GitHub by going Strapi slash Next JS dash corporate dash starter. And here you could see the completed project. I show a quick guide on how to get started. And what's cool is that we already have 58 stars for the projects, which is pretty awesome. This is a first for me. And you could see here, I have issues. And the first thing I want to point out there is this is a project that I want to build together. And so right from the bat here, I'll say, thank you for your help and contributing. And I add a little message here to encourage people to help me out. This is a community built project with love. When I built it with Trisha and Dale, we were still learning next 13 with beta features and TypeScript. If you'd like to participate, help to make this project better, feel free to leave issues or contribute via PRs. Thank you all and stay awesome. And so the idea here is to encourage people to build something together with me. And if someone is a way better developer, they will come and help you out. For instance, we had already a couple of pull requests that added features that I myself wasn't able to implement because I didn't know about them. And so I was able to review the PR, work together and merge it into the code. And what's awesome, you could have these issues. And if you have bugs, maybe you yourself, not sure how to solve it you could kind of point those things out and say, hey, this is what I'm working on if anybody would like to help out. And again, don't ask people to help you. Just build the thing in public, share it on Twitter, share it in your community, and people who want to help will help. No one is obligated to help you. But at the same time, you will have a project that you're working together. And here, um, here's a bug that we have. And I kind of had this conversation like, Hey, I think the issue's here. And I was really honest about it. Like hey, at the time, like, you know, I don't have the time and I haven't had the ability to take a look about, it, but I think I know where the problem is. And so I was like, Hey, anybody are, is more than welcome. And I'm also going to try to fix this bug as well. But the idea is to have a community project that you work together. What's cool about this from your perspective is as a developer, you're actually learning to manage a project on GitHub. So when people make issues or PR requests, you at the end of the day have to review the code, understand the code, see if it makes sense, test it out before merging. And I think it's an, another great practice to kind of practice these real skills as a developer. And so I think this is pretty awesome. So what I would recommend is create your own project, share it on Twitter and work together with your friends. And you can also write a blog post about it and share it on Twitter and try to build a community around what you're building. And so I'm a very big proponent of building in public. So what I want to do is empower you in this video is not to wait to try to contribute to somebody else's project, but build your own communities around your own projects that you're working on. So my challenge to you is go ahead, start your very first project committed to GitHub publicly talk about it on Twitter and invite your friends to help you participate. And again, remember, nobody owes you anything. So it doesn't mean that people are just going to come and jump and help with your project. People that want to help will do it. But I'm going to give you a tip. The more you share your love for coding with others, the more they're going to see that you willing and really interested in building cool things. And for instance, I like to build apps with Remix 
and strappy. And so what I could do, and I'm going to do this in my next video. I wanted to share this project first, but I have a remix project that I'm working with strappy and I'm also going to make it open source. So idea I'm going to, in my Twitter post, like, Hey, I'm building this cool project. I'm using remix tailwind TypeScript and uh, strappy. And if anybody wants to jump in or see what I'm building, follow this link and blah, 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 blah. And basically just make it fun and talk about your progress. And then on Twitter, you could be like, Hey, I've ran into this issue while building my project. It's open source. If anybody interested and wants to help me out or give me some feedback, feel free to go to the GitHub, make an issue or make a pull request. And I think it's a great way to get out of your comfort zone, engage with the community. And believe me, the relationships you build with people through following this process will help you also build connections that could lead you to your next position or your job. So in this video, I just wanted to give you this uh, thing that I've been thinking about. I hope you found it awesome. If not, you know what to do. If you found it awesome, smash the like button and make sure you share. And remember, the best thing you could do is not to code in a silo by yourself, but build things publicly to build exposure for yourself and as well, make a community around the work that you do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.